Hey you guys, here Mark Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool app that I've been using for months already, but I haven't done a video for it. It's called Push Bullet, and it's a very, very popular app, but I got a lot of friends that do not have an idea how this app works, and I decided to make this video so, you, so, so I could share with you guys if you don't have an idea how this works, or sometimes apps like these can also intimidate uh, people. Uh, but what Push Bullet does is that it lets you push any type of file here on your phone like for example you could push a note a link an address a list a picture or a file to lots and lots of devices that you have uh, with push bullet installed like for example here I have my Chrome which is the Chrome browser that's why I'm showing you my computer on right there um, it has my phone it has uh, my tablet or I think it, that's my tablet, yeah, my tablet and my Galaxy Note 4. And right here, if I want to add a friend, I could also do that. But honestly, I don't see the, the purpose for that because you could send a text message to somebody with the information. But this is awesome, very, very cool. And I'm going to show you guys how it works. Uh, one of the latest update that has been added here, let's go here to settings. Let's go here where it says Android to PC notification. Uh, make sure you select this, it says push bullet. Make sure you turn it on. Right now it's going to turn it off. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Yes, yeah, it's, it's on. Make sure you turn it on. Over here where it says turn on or off specific apps. Uh, what this is, uh, by default, if I'm not mistaken, by default, this is all going to be on. I recommend disabling every single one of them and just select the ones that you want to receive notifications from. For example, this one, I don't want to receive notifications from that on every device that I have. I don't want to see, receive notifications for that. Um, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to see every single app selected here but what i use this for is um to send me uh for example send me notifications of, of my text messages of phone calls that i get of anything on every device that i have for example hangouts right now i have it on because if i receive a text message here i want it to receive it on my computer if i'm doing something on my computer and from my computer i can answer the text message um, over here it says only send notifications on Wi-Fi. You could go ahead and select that if you want. If you want to unselect it, doesn't matter. You can unselect that. And here I can go ahead and send a test notification. Let's go ahead and send a test notification. Like you see right there on the computer, automatically there's a notification here. Like you see there, very, very cool and very fast. Um, here, general settings, you could leave that like that if you want. If you want to see, uh, have this vibrate when you receive a message, you could do that. And that's it. Um, to have it functioning here on the PC, uh, make sure, remember, this works with um, this Chrome browser. I don't really know if there's extensions for Safari and the other browsers, but this is Chrome browser. I recommend going to uh, the Chrome Web Store. Uh, like you see here, Chrome Web Store. Uh, so, um, search for Push Bullet. When you search for Push Bullet, you're going to receive this right here. It says Push Bullet. Uh, once you receive that, uh, let's go ahead and install right here. There's going to be an option to install. Once you install that, over here, you're going to see the icon of the push button right there. Uh, when you tap on it, um, there's going to be an option to sign in. Make sure you sign in with the email and password that you used on your phone. And exactly the same thing that you do here, you're going to do on every single device, on, on your tablet, on your other phones, or your other computers. Always use the same account. Um, after you do that, that's it. You're done. So all you got to do, for example, is go ahead and send a couple... Uh, messages here right um, right here if I, if I want to send if I, if I want to push a notification to all the devices that I have registered there I would have to select everything but right now if I want to select only Chrome let's select Chrome and from here let's say I get I could send a notification let's say uh, this is what this is uh, text now what is this uh, wait yeah this is a note uh, let's say I put, uh, hey, what's up? I send it, and there it goes. Like you see right here, I got a message right there. When you tap on it, you're going to see the message right here. Um, like I said, this works 
from any device as well. Now, if I want to send a link, for example, of a website, I could go ahead here, put eBay.com. Uh, I want to put eBay.com. Uh, I want to go ahead here, say buy, whatever, go send. I'm going to choose send, like you see right here. I give, I click right there, send the link. And right there, now I have the website right there. Uh, this is very handy if you're sending like a link to one of your friends automatically. If he has um, a push bullet on his tablet, on his phone, or on, on his computer, it will automatically send him the link. Another thing here, let's go ahead and show you guys address. Um, baseball, let's go ahead and put baseball. Uh, let's go ahead and here, here put um, Arlington. Arlington, Texas, right there, whoops, Arlington, Texas, uh, send it, and there you go, so I send it right here, right away, and automatically, since I send a, what was this, since I send a address, automatically, when, you, when the person taps on it, it's going to open the Google Maps right here in the browser. And from right here, you go enter a specific address and it will pinpoint the address right there on Google Maps, which is amazing. Uh, here, a list. Let's go ahead and put a list here. Uh, buy uh, milk, bread, uh, tooth paste, and so on, so on. You could keep on adding more. I go ahead send and look at that now I got a list and there you go here's the list haha -ha. uh, let's go ahead and send a picture very easily from gallery uh, let's go ahead and send uh, let's go ahead and send uh, this picture right there that I took let's go ahead PSV time right there let's go ahead and send now, when you send the file, it might take a little bit longer because you're sending a file, you know, and it's depend how big it is, the longer it's going to take. But like you see right there, automatically send it, click right there, and voila, like you see right there, the photo is right there in the browser. Uh, let's go ahead and send, uh, let's see what's the last thing we're going to send here. Let's go ahead and test a file. Uh, now, when you choose file, it's going to open uh, like a... Uh, like your file manager which is the drive I think this is uh, yeah I think this is the Google Drive uh, but from right here if you have OneDrive box in, in ES Explorer or your files movies or audio you can select anything from there let's go ahead and send, send something here from, from my OneDrive uh, recent documents let's go ahead and send uh, this form right here Right there, like you see there, it completely attaches the uh, the file. Let's go ahead here, put work, and let's go ahead and send it. And voila, look at how fast that was. Now when I open it up, like you see right here, it's downloading the file to the computer. When you click it, it should open. Look at that. Automatically, it opened the file so I can edit it very very awesome so like you see right there this actually works very good now let me show you guys how it works when you receive a text message okay so now I'm gonna send a text message from one of my cell phones let's go ahead there I send a text message from my wife's cell phone to myself so like you see here I received it on my phone but let's say my phone is in the charger or something like that look at that right here you get it in your computer from right here you're gonna reply click reply and now I got like a little uh, chat window right there I gonna say nothing and send it and that's it and that's it the, now the message has been sent like you see right here it's send it right there on the other phone and Awesome, that's an awesome feature which was added very, very recently. So now you can actually reply to from to text messages from your browser, which is awesome. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, other apps that do the same thing, but the way that this app does it is very, very fluid, very, very easy, and I think it's it's and it's awesome and it's totally free. So I recommend trying it and 
recommend it to everybody else so that way you can have more people to send files in between um, also make sure you install it on your PC or on your Mac because believe me guys it is totally worth it especially when you have it linked to your PC I don't really know I can't remember if this actually works on other browsers besides Chrome I think it does I think it does but hey I showed you how it works in Chrome and it works very flawlessly so guys that's it for this video just wanted to share with you guys a very awesome free app that I've been using for months already and I, I just wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, guys.